Well, practice, um, practice is going well. Um, good competition the last two days. Um, gave the guys off on Sunday. And uh, yesterday was really good as far as com competition was concerned. Guys really got after it and competed. And then today we, we, we got after it a little bit. Guys complained about being a little tired, a little sore. So um, didn't mean much, just just what it is. No, because all year long, it's never been a problem with guys' effort and attitude in practice. Like I've, I've I've sat before you guys, even even when we weren't winning games, and said the guys are still working hard in practice, and still giving us the, having having the right attitude. So that is never that hasn't wavered. Um, that's it's been that way all season long. Um, so for for us, no, it hasn't been any hasn't been hasn't been any different really. Just what are your overall thoughts on Stanford having played with one so close here? Mm hmm. Um, they're big, they're long, uh, they're versatile. Um, Apollo's really, really good. He's a talented young man. He really hurt us in game one, had 30 points in game one. Um, did an unbelievable job getting into the lane and, 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 and causing problems and finishing. And so we, we're going to have to limit his paint touches. We're gonna, you know, they're a team that they don't, they don't shoot the ball. They don't rely on the three to win games. It's not something that they do. Uh, like some of the other teams in the league. And so what they do like to do is they like to get the ball in the paint, whether it's through post-ups, um, from penetration. Um, they really like to get the ball into the paint and make you pay. And so we're going to have to limit limit their paint touches. Uh, Josh Sharma's playing great basketball. He's, he's, he's playing the type of basketball that I'm sure they expected him to play when they, when they recruited him. Um, I think he's got like two player of the week. Um, honors so far this this year and so um we're gonna have to limit what he does um and uh it's gonna be it's gonna be i think it's gonna be a fun game i think both teams enjoy playing each other and um it's gonna be fun mm -hmm. he's in foul trouble What's he doing different now? he's just i mean he's a he's a big strong athlete um He's doing a great job of, of just finishing at the rim. Um, now he's kind of got like a, a floater that he does in the middle of the lane that, that, that he's he's been good at. Um, but he's just more he's he's active. He's a he's a you know seven foot athlete that's that's very very active. And so um, he's definitely somebody that you have to you have to concern yourself with. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. I mean, okay, defensively, uh, when I watch them, it looks like that they change. They don't just stay no, they, they, they'll, they'll switch up between 1-3-1 one, one zone to a 2-3 zone. They'll play some man. So, yeah, they, they, they try to keep you off balance by switching up their defenses. And so that's something that, that – I felt like we did a good job in in game in game one. I, I feel like in game two we can we could do a better job, um, especially if we we go in and and we continue to share the ball and continue to move the ball. Uh, I think we we could we could do a, a a better job in game two than we did in game one. Is it hard to recognize sometimes? That no, you, there's cues on on what defense they're in. You know, if, if you're in a one-three-one, you see Casey Gakpala is going to be at the top of the uh, the key. You're going to know that they're in a one-three-one when you cross half court. Um, Two-three zone obviously is a two-two guard front. So. Well, Ajon's talented. He's a big guard. Um, he's the guy that, that makes them go. When when he plays well, they typically play well. Um, uh, you know, he's, he's just talented. It just seems like he, in the times that we've played him, when they really need a bucket, it seems like he he, he finds a way to get one, whether it's a three or getting to the rim and finishing. Um, but he's their primary ball handler. So uh, when he goes out of the game, I think they take a they take a they take a bit of a dip 
in their ball handling and decision making because he's he's the guy that's that's primary uh, for them. You have more days to prepare, so you you feel more, um, you know. And it's the second time we play these guys, so we already have a feel for what they do and what they what their strengths and weaknesses are from playing them the first time. But then when you get three days prep, then it just gives you more time to kind of slow things slow things down a little bit and just kind of really focus in on okay, they're gonna you know let's work against the one three one, let's work against the two three, let's. Do certain things, so it just gives you it just gives you more time to to, to prepare yourself. After the game uh, Saturday, you talked about how the freshmen aren't really freshmen anymore. Mm-hmm. So, is is Matt an example of that? And in what aspects of the game has he grown? Well, Matt, I think Matt has taken more of a role as being another facilitator for us out there as of as of late. Um, you know. It, him and pa- Paris is, is our primary facilitator, our point guard. But when you have Matt out there as well, Matt's Matt's capable of, of giving you five, six assists. Um, he does a really good job passing the ball. He does a good job of, of getting in the lane and making the right decisions, whether to score or to to kick out or dump down to the big or throw a lob or whatever it is uh, that's needed at the time. And so um, he's a, he's another facilitator for us when he's out there. So I, I think that more than anything, he's always been able to score. It's always been something that he, he's done since since day one of being here, uh, shoot the ball at a high level, uh, get to the rim and finish. But, you know, I think he's, he's, he's given us, as of late, he's given us more from a facil- facilitating standpoint. Was the three-point shooting something you expected to get from him when you got him, or was that kind of pleasant? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, you know, and 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 um, he has deep range, and 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 he, you know, with him, I think the the percentage that he's shooting is more of a testament to his decision making when to take those shots. He doesn't he doesn't uh, force things typically. Typically, you know, he does. And he's had his moments, but um, I think he's just he's just good at recognizing what a good good shot is, and only trying to only take good shots. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a rivalry game. So, yeah, you know, I think the, the players, the staff, you feel it from the outside, you know. And so um, them being down the road and us recruiting kind of the same guys sometimes, uh, yeah, it makes it, it makes it more fun, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say it's, it's, it, it, gives, it gives the game a little bit more pop. Yeah, everybody's everybody's healthy. Knock on wood. Yeah. Anything else for Coach? Thank you, fellas.